when we first broadcast our investigation of Benny Hinn four years ago, we showed you that Pastor Benny likes to travel first class, from the police escort and bodyguards to the private jet. What's all this money good for, my friend? You're not going to take it with you. To his trademark white suits, his ministry's logo stitched, it is said, with 24-karat gold thread, custom tailored in Beverly Hills for several thousand dollars a piece. The man who once asked where in the scripture does it say I have to drive a Honda as Mercedes-Benz. His home, 7,000 square feet of living space, is worth over $10 million. It's in an exclusive enclave in California, surrounded by security guards on one side and spectacular views of the Pacific Ocean on the other. And because this is officially registered as Hinn's parsonage or church residence, his ministry pays for all of it, including electrical bills and property tax. Now you can make checks payable, of course, to Benny Hinn Ministries. Appeals for cash are a mainstay of his ministry. Your name, your account number, your expiration date, and sign. At crusades, while Pastor Benny preaches on stage, backstage volunteers empty collection buckets filled by his capacity crowds. As a Hinn security staffer, the man we called Andrew saw those crusades from the inside. It's never a... That was a great crusade. We saved a lot of souls. It's, that was a good crusade. We made half a million dollars. How much money does Benny Hinn make? Well, we don't know because he won't say. And as a religious organization, his ministry doesn't have to. Though Hinn has frequently promised he would never take a penny for himself. Look at my eyes right here. Come, give me a close shot, will you? And look at these eyes. I have never lied to you. Never. I never will. I'd rather die than lie to God's people. But the Fifth Estate obtained confidential financial records from inside the Hinn ministry, showing how Benny Hinn spends ministry money when he travels. We focused on a trip in July 2003. Hinn had crusades in Russia and in Sweden. Receipts show, as usual, he stayed in five-star hotels and consumed lavishly. But after the Crusades were over, Hinn's private jet took off to Italy. In Milan, Hinn's room at the Savoia Hotel was 1001, the presidential suite. It features its own Baroque swimming pool and Turkish bath. The going rate, more than $10,000 per night. From Italy, the Hinn entourage headed to London for a day. The party stayed at the prestigious Lanesborough Hotel. The rate for Hinn's room, almost $4,000 a night. And there were incidental charges on the hotel bill, including in-room tea, lunch, and chauffeur services, totaling $6,000. Uh, money is never an object. Uh, he spends on whatever he likes. Only the best for him, for Benny. Pastor Benny. Bob McKillen. When we went looking for answers four years ago, the Hinn Ministry refused our interview request. So we took a hidden camera to meet Pastor Benny. If you get your money, all this money, from people like the ones we saw at, at this crusade, why will you not, as many, many people like Pat Robertson and Billy Graham do, release that information to prove that what you say is true? Or release the information of the ministry about the ministry. The financial information, yours personally, and the ministry. I'll tell you what. Why don't you, why don't you invite me to come to CBC? We would love I'm to. I'd be more than happy to come. You, come, have, my, you have my word for it. Come tonight? Come oh, tomorrow. Tonight is, I, I Soon afterwards, Benny Hinn and his entourage bid us good night. Thank you. I'll call you we, it may not surprise that despite his promise, an interview at the CBC never took place. And that call from Pastor Benny, it didn't come either. But if Benny Hinn wouldn't respond to our questions, it seems he may soon have to give some answers to this man. Senator Charles Grassley is the top Republican on the U.S. Senate Finance Committee. Now he wants to investigate Benny Hinn. We've had a lot of anecdotal information uh, come to us, enough to raise questions about whether or not the tax laws are being complied with. Senator Grassley sent Pastor Benny a letter requesting data about finances that Hinn has previously refused to make public. Grassley wants to know about Benny Hinn's salary and bonuses. 
about his travel expenses, including those lavish layovers we told you about, from the details of his hotels to the cost of his private jet. The fundamental question, does Benny Hinn properly spend the money he receives tax-free because it's for religious purposes? Uh, every faith, every church, every nonprofit, uh, which includes churches, have to abide by the same tax laws. If an organization refuses to give you the information you've requested, what then? If I don't get this information, over six years of investigating nonprofit organizations, this would be the first nonprofit organization that hasn't cooperated with me. If him doesn't cooperate, Senator Grassley says he'll force him to with a subpoena, providing data he could then give to the IRS, as was the case when he investigated the company found to have committed the biggest corporate fraud in U.S. history, Enron. And I would feel a responsibility to turn any information like that over to them, as I did in the case of Enron. Back in Fernie, B.C., Grace's mother, Janice Brulotte, has followed what's been happening to Benny Hinn, though she declines to pass judgment. In the end, God has to be the one that judges them, that we have to leave that up to him. And in some ways, maybe this is part of that judgment, in that, you know, things are being opened up and brought into the light. We don't give up faith just because men fail us. <laughs> I'll do boxing then, and gymnastics. Certainly 11-year-old Grace Berlotta has kept her faith, and she's ready to take on the world. She's just received a digital recorder from a provincial agency set up to help disabled children use technology. You shouldn't have gave it to me. Now I'm going to be recording everybody. You be like... You'll be like a spy. <laughs> She'll be using the gear to cover the B.C. Winter Games in Kimberley at the end of the month. You'll see her reports on the Internet. For Grace, it's a dream come true. I like to be a reporter. I really like to find out what people are doing in their lives. Even without the help of Benny Hinn, the story of what Grace Berlotte is doing with her life is reason enough to believe in miracles. This world is so full of negativity, and yet here's this little girl who, who just radiates love and radiates joy, and people just love being around her. For them to see Grace and to see what she can do with so little in her physical body and how she keeps up such a positive attitude and she just comes in and brightens up their day and that's a miracle.